Hi everyone, I am Arun Julkar. In application of matrices, today we will talk about Leontief input output model. In part 1, we will talk about open model with the two industries, Leontief input output model. Suppose there are two industries, each industry produces some goods and services which are partially consumed internally by the two industries and the rest are used by customers. So we are assuming here there are two industries, industry first, industry second and this is some outside demand which is called as final demand and the sum of all give you output. First industry consuming X1 of the first industry and X2 one of the second industry. Second industry is consuming X12 of the first industry and X2 of the second industry and the final demand is D1, D2 and the output is X1, X2. The sum of X11, X12 and X21 and X22 denote internal demand and D1, D2 denote external demand and the sum of the internal demand and the external demand give you the output. See this table once again. This X11 denote output of first industry consumed by itself. This X21 denote output of second industry consumed by the first industry. This X12 denote output of the first industry consumed by second industry and this X22 denote output of second industry consumed by the second industry. D1, D2 is the final demand of the outside customer and the sum of X11, X12 and D1 equals to X1. The sum of X21, X22 and D2 equals to X2. So the internal demand plus external demand equals to output. First we obtain input output matrix which is also known as technology matrix. So first we divide the input of first industry by the output of first industry and second we divide by input of second industry by the output of second industry and we will get x11 divided by x1, x21 divided by x1, x12 divided by x2 and x22 divided by x2 and technology matrix is divided by A. Let the output be x1, x2 and the final demand be d1 and d2. We know that internal demand plus external demand equals to output. Internal demand is A into x. External demand is D which equals to x. So D equals to x minus Ax. After simplifying, we will get the value of x i minus A whole inverse into D. Using this formula, we can calculate the output for the forecast demand. Example 1. From the following transition matrix, find the cross output for the each industry for the final demand 8 and 64 respectively. And the input and the output of the both industries are given to us plus final demand and their output. First industries output is 40, second industry output is 80. First we find input output matrix. This is also known as technology matrix which is denoted by A. And we will get this matrix by dividing input of the first industry by the output of first industry and input of second industry divided by the output of second industry. And we will get 2 by 5. 1 by 4, 1 by 5 and 2 by 4 and D is 8 and 64, this is the forecast demand and let output for this is x1 and x2. We know that internal demand plus external demand equals to output. So Ax plus D equals to x and x equals to i minus a whole inverse into D. Now first of all we calculate i minus a. I is identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1 minus A is 2 by 5, 1 by 4, 1 by 5 and 2 by 4. And the answer of I minus A is 3 by 5 minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 5 and 2 by 4. First we calculate determinants of I minus A which equals to 5 by 20. This implies 1 by 4 not equal to 0. So I minus A is a non singular matrix and inverse is possible. Inverses and the inverse of i minus a is 1 divided by 1 by 4 multiplied by 2 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 5 and 3 by 5. Now we calculate x. x is i minus a whole inverse multiplied by d. 
I minus A whole inverse is 4, multiply by 2 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 5 and 3 by 5, multiply by D, D is 8 and 64. And after calculation, we will get the value of X, which is equals to X1 and X2, 80 and 160. Example 2. For a two sector economy, technology matrix is given A equals to 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.2 and 0 0.4. If the final demand 10 and 30 for the two sectors respectively, find the gross output. A is given to us 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.2 and 0 0.4. D is given 10 and 30 and let X is equals to X1 and X2. First of all, we calculate I minus A. I is identity matrix and A is given. And after subtracting A from I, we will get 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.2 and 0 0.6. Now, x equals to i minus a whole inverse multiplied by d. i minus a whole inverse is just interchange the upper diagonal elements and change the signs of the lower diagonal element and outside will take 1 divided by upper diagonal minus lower diagonal and its whole multiplied by d and we will get the answer 1 divided by 0 0.24 matrix 6 plus 9 and 2 plus 15 and the answer is 62.5 and 70.83. So the gross output of the two sectors are 62.5 and 70.83.